us with candy. We're all going to need a cool treat this afternoon, that's for sure, Candy. That's right, Maddie. Good morning. Well, we're not in for a cool treat just yet in Kern County. We're getting ready for another hot day. Uh, pretty much uh, the rest of the work week. So the sun is officially up across Kern County. Here's a live view at our camera network. You can see this beautiful view of our sun out in the distance right outside our studios overlooking to the northeast. So traffic is flowing smoothly along the 99. Let's take a look at the temperature right now. You're looking at 78 degrees in Bakersfield with a 58% humidity and the winds are light coming in from the east southeast at eight miles per hour temperatures around Kern County let's go all the way to Delano good morning there you're looking at 67 degrees 52 in Fraser Park 61 in Tehachapi and 84 already in Mojave the forecast for today calls for 105 in Bakersfield yesterday the high was 106 we're going to be above average today we should be around 98 and back in 1913 the temp the record 110. So luckily we won't be matching that. Our sunset will be at 754. We have an excessive heat warning in place today and tomorrow once again because we're going to be dealing with extreme heat uh, pretty much all across Grand County. A lot of magenta and orange. These colors are just telling us just to be careful out there. Stay hydrated and take plenty of breaks. Another key Practice heat safety wherever you are, especially if you're going to be out and about. So clear skies up and down the state. As you can see, things are quiet, but not so quiet as we continue to let's head east, where we continue to track Tropical Storm Debbie right now, moving through Georgia as about 50 miles of Savannah, Georgia. And it's moving very slowly at uh, six miles per hour headed northeast with sustained winds at about 45 miles per hour. Torrential, heavy rainfall expected. As you can see the size of the storm and is expected to produce any from 10 to 20 inches of rain in the next uh, few hours. And once again, this is very crucial. The storm then is going to move to the um, water. It's going to move to the Atlantic and then it's going to reintroduce itself in the Carolinas as we head into Thursday. And it's this transition that we're going to be watching very closely. But uh, yes, millions of people continue to be under threat. So let's talk about our weather here because we're going to be dry and very hot up and down the state. 108 for Fresno today, 103 in Sacramento. You're looking at 86 in San Diego and 114 in Las Vegas. Air quality unhealthy with an AQI of 133. And as far as today, we're going to remain in the triple digits. It's the silver lining or the colder lining, if you want to call it that way. It's uh, by the end of the work week, we're going to cool down a little bit. We're going to be in the lower 100s and then back into the double digits by early next week. But for now, this is our reality. 105 in Delano, 106 in Button Willow. Up in the mountains in the Kern River Valley, you're looking at 103 in Walford Heights, 93 in Fraser Park, and 103 in Kernville. Maybe breezy at times with winds gusting at about 30 miles per hour. Out in the desert, the hottest spot to date will be Rich Chris with a high of 112. So now looking ahead for the rest of the work week, we're looking at dangerous heat today and tomorrow. And then it looks like we're going to be in the lower 100s by as we get ready to enjoy the weekend. And then we're going to be back in the double digits by Monday of next week. So that's good news. We're going to, this heat wave is not going to last 14, 15 days like back in July. So uh, for Tehachapi, lower 90s and then back in the 80s as we head into early next week. And finally, the Lake Sibella area, you're looking at a few hot days, temperatures in the lower 100s and back into the double digits as early as Sunday. So good news there. Today and tomorrow, once again, is the peak of this heat wave, and then we're going to be transitioning to cooler weather as we head into the weekend. That's a look at your forecast. More news when we come back.